So now I'm going to create what's called a moment diagram so we can analyze how much bending force or bending stress this beam is feeling along its length, just as we saw how much shear it's feeling in different regions. So remember moment, we use the symbol M for moment. So that's gonna be a capital M. And so again, to create an M diagram, I'm just gonna make a nice long line to represent the length of this beam. We need to figure out the areas of each section in the shear diagram. So I start by labeling each area, area one, area two, area three, and area four, because the area under these regions is actually equal to the moment that the beam's experiencing. So now we have all four of the areas under the shear diagram, and that's gonna enable us to construct a moment diagram. Let's start with area one. We said it was 2285.72. For this first two foot region, from there to there, it's going to linearly increase in moment until it reaches that number. So I'm gonna label that on my graph. So now the moment is going to linearly drop by this amount. The, the moment's actually dropping in this region. And this is that region two here. So during that entire region, it's gonna go down to 500.02. But then we have a positive moment in region three. So it's gonna start going up by 1,771.44 until it reaches 2,271.46. And at the very end of the beam, these last three feet here, uh, it's now gonna start dropping, right? So minus 2,271.42. And so that should take us right down to zero.